Hello, my name is Rodri Jones and I'm the Subject Officer for EDUCAS GCE English Literature. I'm here today to tell you about a new WJC EDUCAS specification for GCE A-Level in, in English Literature for England. This off-court accredited specification is for first teaching in September 2015 and first award in summer 2017. I will also tell you about our new WJC EDUCAS specification for GCE AS in English Literature for England. This off-call accredited specification is for first teaching in September 2015 as well, and first award in summer 2016. EDUCAS is the new brand from WJC, which provides schools with newly reformed off-call regulated GCSEs, AS and A-levels in England. WJC has developed the EDUCAS brand to help schools clearly distinguish between legacy qualifications and reformed qualifications in England. The EDUCAS philosophy is that learners come first. There are no tricks and examination papers and marking schemes are designed to ensure learners can demonstrate what they know, understand and can do and are rewarded for this. There are opportunities to develop an enjoyment of the subject and to encourage learners to read and to think independently. We hold face-to-face -face examiner conferences to ensure all examiners are trained to a high standard and can apply the mark scheme consistently. We also pride ourselves on our personal and friendly support from specialist subject experts and support staff. The EDUCAS GCE, AS and A-Level English Literature specifications offer an exciting, rigorous and balanced courses in advanced literary studies which fosters the skill of close literary analysis and an understanding and appreciation of literary traditions and movements. There are four components at A-Level and two at AS, each with a clear identity, offering the study of literature within discrete genres. There are a rich and diverse choice of texts for learners to study and excellent opportunities for co-teachability with AS and A-Level. There are key changes to be aware of when first preparing to teach the new qualification for A-Level. The A-Level will be 80% examination and 20% non-exam assessment. The course will be fully linear and will require the study of eight texts. The A-Level will assess candidates' abilities in responding to unseen texts and it will not include the AS specification, which is now a completely separate qualification. The challenge for us was to design a specification which would excite teachers and learners a specification which would allow teachers to be flexible in their teaching and offer learners the breadth of study required. A specification which would allow learners to build their independence and develop the skills which would prepare them for further study. We'll now go through the A-level specification before thinking about co-teachability and the AS specification. The EDUCAS GCE English Literature specification is made up of four components. The first three are exam-based assessment, while component four is non-exam assessment. Component one is a poetry exam. In section A, learners are expected to respond to a pre-1900 collection of poems chosen from a prescribed list. In the exam, they will be given a two-part question. The first will be focused on a specific poem or an extract from a longer poem, while the second part will be an extended essay on the whole collection. Section B asks learners to study two post-1900 collections of their choice from a prescribed list. In the exam, they will be asked to write an essay comparing the poet's work. Component 2 is based on drama. Section A focuses on Shakespeare. There is a choice of five Shakespeare plays to study and in the exam, 
Learners will be required to respond to an extract from their chosen play and then write an essay on the play as a whole. In section B, learners are asked to study two plays, one from pre-1900 and one which was first performed and published post-1900. Learners will be given a choice of two questions and asked to compare both plays in the course of their response. Component 3 is a paper which assesses the ability of learners to analyse unseen texts. In section A, which is worth 50 marks, learners will have to choose to respond to one of two unseen prose extracts from two distinct periods. One will be from the period 1880 to 1910, the other from the period 1918 to 1939. Learners will also be given some brief supporting contextual and critical extracts, which they will then need to use to illuminate their analysis. Section B, which is worth 30 marks, is unseen poetry. Again, learners will choose one of two poems on which to write. Component 4 is non-exam assessment and is worth 20% of the qualification. The focus here is on prose, and learners must study two texts which they compare. One text should be published pre-2000, the other post-2000. Learners have a free choice in terms of texts, but they need to ensure that they are substantial and of sufficient literary merit for A-level study. They can include the novel, a collection of short stories, autobiography and memoir, travel writing and essays. These texts must be nominated by centres and be approved by the WJC EDUCAS. Learners must demonstrate their ability in five separate assessment objectives. AO1 focuses on learners' expression and writing ability. AO2 is the bread and butter for the literature student, focusing on textual analysis. The other three AOs should be linked to this textual analysis. AO3 asks learners to consider how contexts affect their reading of texts. AO4 tests learners' ability to make connections between texts. Considering different interpretations of texts is the focus in AO5. For information regarding weightings, see page 11 of the specification. And for more information about the assessment objectives for specific components, see the mark schemes in the specimen assessment materials. With a decoupling of AS and A-level GCE English literature, there are a number of issues facing teachers. Does the centre offer both AS and A-level specifications? What happens to those who study for AS and decide at the late stage to now complete the A-level specification? Co-teaching is dealt with in more detail on WJC's secure website, where there are some plans for the way teachers might construct their courses based on the different needs of learners. There is a clear overlap between the EDUCAS GCE English Literature AS and A-Level specification. The EDUCAS AS specification is made up of two components, both exam-based. Component 1 is on prose, with learners studying two texts, one pre-1900, the other post-1900. Section A asks learners to answer one two-part question on the text they've chosen to study from the prescribed list. The first part of the question will be based on an extract, while the second question will assess the learner's understanding of the whole text. Section B gives learners a choice of two questions on the texts they've chosen to study from the prescribed list. They will be asked to write an essay on the novel as a whole. In co-teaching AS and A-level, one of these texts could be used by learners 
as their pre-2000 text for non-exam assessment at A-level. Component 2 is based on poetry and drama. In section A, learners will need to respond to one question from a choice of two based on the collection they've chosen to study from the prescribed list. The question will ask them to focus on a named poem and at least one other poem from the same collection. There is also a prescribed list of plays from which to choose for section B. An extract from the play is given to learners in the first part of the question. The second part asks learners to write an essay to show their understanding of the play as a whole. For co-teaching, learners can also use their chosen texts for both poetry and drama in the A-level specification. There are a number of resources available to assist teachers and learners. You'll find, as the specification gets underway, material from CPD events, exemplar material from learners, PowerPoint presentations on the finer details of the specification, and ways for learners to develop the skills required in order to succeed. If you do have any further questions, please contact me or Mike Williams, the Subject Support Officer for EDUCAS GCE English Literature. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.